Awesome people, this is Dr. Shivam and this is one of the section from PGME Mastery course discussing you one of the high yielding topic that is the different scores being asked in your PGME examination. So starting with the Q so far score, we'll be discussing scores like Q so far, so far score, CURB 65, Apache score and many more things in a very short time. So I would recommend you to have a pen and paper, write it up and stick in front of your study table. In very short, we'll be discussing the Q so far. So basically it is a score used for high risk patient which are admitted in hospital but outside ICU. So this is a score which is done outside the ICU for suspected infection. So the point to note and focus here is it is used to predict mortality and not to diagnose sepsis. So this is very important and can be asked in your future AIMS, PGI and NEET PG examination that it is just to predict mortality and not to diagnose sepsis. Okay. So this was the very important point regarding Q so far. Now this is a very simple score. Why I am saying it's simple because it contains only three factors that is the altered mental status or the Glasgow coma scale, respiratory rate greater than 22 and systolic BP less than 100. Now if any of them is okay you will give them a score of 1. So if altered mental status that is less than 15 you will give a score of 1 respiratory rate greater than 22 you will give a score of 1 and systolic BP greater than, uh, less than 100 you will give a score of less than 100 now point by point we'll move to the each one that is if suppose the altered mental status that is less than 15 but rest are no that is negative then one point so this is not a high risk and if the sepsis is suspected, continue to monitor, evaluate and initiate treatment as appropriate. If the score is 2, this means it is a high risk. So Q so far scores of 2 to 3 are associated with 3 to 14 fold increase in in hospital mortality. So see how important it is to suspect mortality in patient. So these patients need to have a SOFA score. So if there is high risk of SOFA, we need to do the SOFA score for that patients. So we will be doing the SOFA score now. If the point is 3, that means high risk. So the, these patients should have infection considered even if it was previously not. And we will be doing SOFA score in them. So these are some advices for QSOFA, a positive QSOFA score greater than 2 suggest high risk or poor outcome in the patients. Okay, So these patients should be more thoroughly assessed and they should not, a positive QSOFA should not trigger sepsis directed intervention like initiation of antibiotics while it should be investigated and a proper SOFA score should be then for them so moving to the uh, this q so far was given by sepsis 3 task force so they recommend that even if the q so far is initially negative less than 2 it can be repeated if the patient's clinical status changes but this q so far is only indicative and we need to do so far score in the high risk patient now when to use this scan this QSOFA should be used only for greater than or equal to 18 year old patient in non ICU setting like patients admitted in ward emergency department step down unit or pre hospital with confirmed or suspected information infection so this is not for ICU patients so another thing which you should know is this identifies the patient outside the ICU with suspected infection and can help increase the suspicious or awareness of a severe infection. So this score is very new and has a high chances of being asked. So this is Q so far abnormal mental status, respiratory rate and systolic blood pressure. So very easy for you to remember and very easy for the examiner to ask. Another score is CURB 65 which is basically for the community associated pneumonia. 
so here this criteria has some uh, some uh, factors like CURB confusion respiratory rate so it is according to the, uh, the, the letters it has C for confusion uh, U for urea R for respiratory rate B for blood pressure and A age is 65 years so this one is also very important you should know every each letter and we'll be discussing it more now what is SOFA score SOFA score basically is used to evaluate morbidity and it is simple easily calculated and individualized the degree of dysfunction now if we see the SOFA score in little detail so that you remember it it was previously known as sepsis related organ failure assessment okay because it was initially related to the sepsis uh, degree of organ dysfunction in case of sepsis patients but now it is used for describing the degree of organ dysfunction in various ICU patients with organ dysfunction but that are not related to sepsis that's why the name has been changed to sequential organ failure assessment now if QSOFA is high risk you can do the SOFA and this SOFA is for ICU patient specifically for ICU patients but that QSOFA was out of ICU patients so this thing you need to remember other thing regarding SOFA you will remember is it consists of six organ system so what all organ system are important for a life to sustain it is respiratory system yes cardiovascular system yes renal system yes hepatic system yes CNS yes and coagulation obviously so very easy to remember and I hope you will not forget this SOFA score so this is basically unlike other score here what we do is the worst value of each day is noted okay and another another thing is mortality rate increases as the number of organ with the dysfunction increases so these are the maximum SOFA score is the sum of highest score per individual during entire ICU stay that means if a person is in the ICU for 10 days so whatever score he will get maximum on any day will be the maximal SOFA score mean is the average of first 10 days okay sorry average of all the total SOFA in the entire ICU stay and delta is maximum SOFA that is on admission day now this is an overview of SOFA score you need not to remember all the points but it has the variables like neurological pulmonary cardiovascular renal hematological platelet hepatic blood bilirubin and all which we have discussed now this is something you also know that you should know that multiple organ dysfunction score or the MOTS so MOTS also has six organ systems respiratory renal hepatic cardiovascular hematological CNS scoring is performed on daily basis total score is 0 to 24 and you need not to know more than this so this is an overview overview of MOTS only law only the full form will will be doing for this lots stands for logistic organ dysfunction system see why i'm why i am emphasizing on these score because this is one of the high yielding thing which every examiner wants to ask and it will be there in every exam of yours like aims pgi and neat pg so it is very important to know these these scores and and the evaluation system now moving to the sequence if we see the ICU setting scores so this is the sequence now people are using Apache 4 so what is this Apache so this Apache is a very easy thing if I tell you it is acute physiology and chronic health evaluation now your recent NB people had asked you key question regarding Apache 4 okay I cannot name name the exam but they had asked you about Apache 4 so this Apache score is best known and most widely used score for this uh, good calibration and discrimination of the health so it consists of physiological and pre-admission evaluation so uh, this original was consisting of 34 physiological mes measures but the Apache 2 has only two and is measured during the first 24 hour of the ICU admission with maximum score of 71 now Apache 3 has 
मोर नंबर लाइक सेवेंटीन फिजियोलॉजिकल वेरिएबल्स एंड टोटल स्कोर ऑफ जीरो टू टू नाइन्टी नाइन अपाचे थ्री वर्स गिवेन टू इम्प्रूव द स्टैटिस्टिकल पावर ability to predict individual patient outcome and identify the factors in icu that influence the outcome variable so apache 3 is more better score than apache 2 and 1 and it consists of 17 physiological variables total score of 0 to 299 acid base disturbances gcs age score and seven comorbidities now moving to the apache 4 which was being asked okay so this is something which has already been asked and should be recorded by you or noted by you in your notebook apache 4 which is published in 2006 and is the recent is very complex as it contains 142 variables done by the web based calculation and is being developed and valid validated in icus of usa only that means in india it is not yet being used but this is something which they have asked so you should know now moving to the grading system for wound assessment so these asepsis and sound somthorns grading system enable us to grade the wound healing okay according to the numerical values so they are very fond of asking this somthorns grading system now if we see this grading system it consists of grades like 1 2 3 4 now this 1 2 3 4 5 is further graded like 1a 1b 1c so what is that so one is zero is normal healing one is normal healing with mild bruising two is erythema plus other signs of inflammation three is clear or hemocerous discharge means from wound there will be clear or hemocerous discharge four is pus will be coming and five is five is deep or severe wound infection with or without tissue breakdown that is hematoma requiring aspiration now what is this a b c d a is just normal healing b is minor complication c is wound infection wound graded four or five and five and d is major hematoma or the scrotal hematoma is requiring aspiration and evacuation so this only the thing they have asked up till now is south somthorn the scoring system is used for so it is used for basically grading the healing process of this surgical wound so it is used for wound assessment okay enabling the surgical wound healing to be graded according to a specific criteria usually giving a numerical value and providing more objective assessment of the wound this is asepsis wound scoring system i don't think it is very important for you but you should know that there is a scoring system like this and this is again the somthorns scoring system so this was all about you guys i think it would be very helpful for you and do revise it or note it down wherever you want and do enroll for the pgme mastery course it will help you immensely means believe my words it will help you immensely so the seats are very less because we want to maintain the quality do enroll the course and do ask whatever your queries are so this is dr shivam signing off stay happy stay confident and do whatever you want to do thank you